Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video. We are here with <coughs> I'm dying of the coronavirus. Yes, that is true. The coronavirus is breaking out and is coming to a local neighborhood near you. Today, we have Team of the Year here in Madden Mobile. And this is actually really fun because Team of the Year is one of my favorite promos because you get a wide variety of players of high overall and it's just like a freaking grind fest. So, I want to talk about the best way to get these for free and I'm giving you an ultimate guide. That's right, we're talking about an ultimate guide. But without further ado, before we get into how we get these players for free, absolutely free, no coins, no cash. That's my vibe when I come when it comes to these guides let's break down what we have in store in terms of uh players so the cards that we have is we have russell wilson uh 98 overall russell wilson we have 97 overall derrick henry as our running back and we have uh aaron jones so the one QB that we get is thankfully the QB that was probably most deserving of this card, Russell Wilson. Um, of course, Lamar Jackson and Patrick Mahomes in their own right have their own cards. But Russell Wilson had a freaking MVP style year and deserves that freaking card. So for our wide receivers, we have uh, DeAndre Hopkins, we have Julio Jones, George Kittle, and Chris Godwin. So that's the tight end uh, wide receiver duo. Uh, George Kittle with that one tight end card. And of course, you have that uh, cool and animation shooting up on all the cards which is pretty dope um so not bad at all jumping to offensive line we have the one and only ronnie stanley from the baltimore ravens zach martin jc treader and quinton nelson as well as jason peter so uh that quinton nelson card is dope we got some awesome offensive line uh a lot of people like to do like an all o line uh, team of the year theme. I've seen that as like a really popular choice uh, for a lot of creators. So that it could be an idea. Of course, we have Aaron Donald over here, 98 overall Aaron Donald. Then we have Carlos Dunlap, uh, Grady Jarrett, and Daniel Hunter, which I believe that's how you say his first name, not Danielle, it's Daniel Hunter. Uh, for the defensive tackle and defensive end position. So that is very exciting as well. Uh, Sha Shaq Barrett from the Tampa Bucks. You got Zadaria Smith, who's been an absolute beast. Chandler Jones, who is so freaking underrated. And Bobby Wagner, who is just the best in the game. And then of course, down here for safeties, we have Minka Fitzpatrick. We got Justin Simmons, Jamal Adams, Casey Hayward, Tredavious White, and Marcus Peter. So, um, Tredavious White, an absolute freak of a player, and I really hope that he gets the recognition he deserves and the money. Um, I'm not sure what his contract is right now, so hopefully if it's if he has already gotten paid, then he's paid well, but if not, hopefully he gets um, a well-deserved contract. And then, of course, special teams. We have Jamal Agnew, who is a fantastic kick returner. Uh, we have Justin Tucker, who is clutch. Naheem Hines, punt returner, which is interesting. I you know I followed the Colts a little bit this season uh, because I have Marlon Mack on my dynasty, um, and I had Ty and I had T.Y. Hilton that I traded, but I didn't know that he had a good punt returns. So maybe he turned a couple for a touchdown or two. Uh, then, of course, Brett Kern. So, these are the players. Let's get into the guide. So, it's super simple. The team of the year uh, live event is basically uh, you choose which live event you want to play. It's very straightforward. And there are a collection of seven. So, three defensive, three offensive, and one special teams. You play it. It's 75 stamina per, uh, which means uh, it's a high stamina cost, but the yield and the packs and the events are well worth it. And we're going to break down the math right now. So if you are ready to get a free player or two or three or four, I'm about to break this down. So you can screenshot this. I'm going to reveal it now. My ultimate master guide. We're going to go through this. It's very easy. I made it as short as possible so that you understand what the heck is going on in this promo. So team of the year master grind guide. So what happened when I pulled 10 team of the year events uh, packs? So I did the quarterback and a uh, running back event, which is hidden behind my face cam. I did that 10 times, and here's what I pulled out of 10 of these event packs with not including the first one pack, and they cost me 750 stamina because 75 stamina times 10 times equals 750 stamina. So out of the 10 packs, I pulled six 81 overall elites. I pulled one 84 overall elite and one 86 overall elite. So right off the bat, 
I pulled eight elites in 10 packs, which means that the elites are extremely high in these team of the year packs, just like we saw in the Super Bowl promo, which is awesome. I pulled 16 of the championship run golds and then 20 of the quarterback running back badges. So what you need to do is you need to first decide, okay, what team of the year player do I want? Do I want the quarterback, the running back, the tight end, whatever? Choose one and then decide if you want to go for the 98 overall or if you want to go for a 97. And I'm going to tell you what the difference between the two are because there is a significant difference. So let's talk about building a 98 overall master, okay? Let's talk about building the best possible master. I want to build Russell Wilson, so what do I need to do? So based off of that experiment, of the 750 stamina and what we pulled, I went ahead and did this. So for every 750 stamina on team of the year events equals enough to get one and a half offensive or defensive shields and around four times 86 overall or lower elites. So if you go to sets and if we go to sets right here, you're going to see that uh, you have to get offensive shields in order to basically... Um, to get the, the master players. So for every 750 stamina, you're about you're able to get enough uh, badges and players to get about one and a half offensive or defensive shields and four times 86 overall or lower elites. So after putting everything into the shield set, um, after 750 stamina, that's what you're expected to get. Again, it's gonna change based off your luck in the event packs, but that's what's expected now. Based off what we know, we know that 750 stamina gets us the one and a half shield and the four time elites, right? So let's say we multiply this by 12, which is going to be 9,000 stamina. So that's 750 times 12, which is 9,000 stamina. That's gonna be enough to get 18 offensive or defensive shields and 48 times 86 overall elites. That's right, 48 elites and 18 shields is what around 9,000 stamina of grinding one of these events is going to get you. So let's go ahead and break down and do what that, what that math is. So if we go to Russell Wilson here, let me kind of hide this. Russell Wilson, we, so let's say we, we do the 9,000 stamina grind and we roughly get 48 elite players. Well, that's going to be enough for the 87 because to get the 87 overall championship run players, you need seven of the 86 or under. So seven times five is 35 elites plus the 10 elites there. That's 45 elites total. So right now, if I spend 9,000 stamina, the elites are gonna be completely filled in this Russell Wilson set as well as the badges. And then we have 18 shields and it only requires 10 shields. So by just spending 9,000 stamina, I'm going to have enough to complete Russell Wilson, 98 overall quarterback, missing just the 90 overall diamond. So the 90 overall diamond is not included into this guide, but all you have to do is go buy one or use one that you currently have, and then you'll be able to get Russell Wilson. So if we go back to this guide, basically it says that by Spending 9,000 stamina, you're going to have enough to complete um, a Team of the Year Master. So it takes 45, 86 overall or lower elites, plus a 90 overall, plus the 10 shields, plus the 30 badges to get the 98 Team of the Year Master. Now, of course, something you're probably going to notice is that you only need 10 shields, of course, to get one of the 98 masters and you're going to be getting 18 offensive shields so uh that is going to be that's that's eight more than than you actually need for the set so by doing 9,000 stamina grind you're going to be able to get not only one 98 overall master but also re retain eight more shields so here is the basic breakdown Around 9,000 stamina is going to get you a 98 overall, not including, of course, the 90 overall diamond that you're going to need to put in the set. Around 6,000 stamina is going to get you the 97 overall, not including the 90 overall diamond. So if I go back up and readjust this math to try and get myself the 97 overall, you only actually need six shields and then you need less elite players for the 97 overall. So for those of you that are saying, hey, I don't really care for the 98s, I want the 97, then it's only going to take around 6,000 stamina or so.
my personal grind is this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for 9,000 stamina um, because if I get 9,000 stamina, then I, not only will I be able to get Russell Wilson Master, but then I'm going to have eight other shields, which those eight shields I'm going to put into a 97 overall set because they only need six, and I'll be able to then get a 98 overall and a 97 overall for probably around 12 to 13,000 stamina, uh, which seems to be worth it for me. So for around 12 to 13,000 stamina, on just one of these events, I'm going to be able to get a 98 master and a 97. Now, if you just want to go for the 97 overall, it's probably only going to take 6,000 stamina to get there. Um, and that is kind of the math for this promo. So the bottom, reading the bottom part of the guide, if you want to grind hard, then grind for 1,500 stamina a day. And considering this is a one week only promo, 1,500 stamina a day times one week equals 10,500 stamina, pure free to play. So, one free 98 overall, or maybe two free 97 overalls, is your free-to-play outcome if you are grinding 1,500 stamina of events every single day. So that is a pretty lucrative promo. That means that if we are just, you know, setting the base, we want to grind 1,500 stamina a day, no matter what, when the stamina refreshes, whether we're doing gem refreshes, whatever it means, uh, we are grinding 1,500 stamina a day. If you set that bar for yourself, you're going to be able to get probably a 98, uh, for sure, 98 overall for sure, uh, maybe two 97s if you go that route, or if you go a little bit above and beyond and do about 13,000 stamina in a week, you're going to look at a 98 and probably a 97 as well. So this is it. This is the guide. Um, it's really simple. Basically, the only thing you really need to follow off of this is you just need to understand that based off how the math works, uh, it's kind of, I'm kind of telling you what you're looking uh, to get yourself involved in and what it's going to look like uh, once you're done with the full grind. So I would say make sure that you at least spend 9,000 stamina on one of the events um, or multiple events. Keep track of how much stamina you're using so that you're con you're consciously making an effort to hit that you know that grind daily mark. Because if I'm like, all right, before the end of the day, I have to do 1,500 stamina of these auto live events. Remember, it's all auto. So you don't have to freaking play the live events. It's super easy. Um, I got to do 1,500. I got to set a couple alarms on my phone. If you do that consistently for the next seven days, you will get a minimum of 10,500 stamina, which is enough for a couple masters. So for those that are going to go above and beyond and get more masters, those are going to be people that are going to be opening up packs, buying players off the auction houses, and those kind of things. Uh, but realistically, it looks to get it looks to give you about two free masters for this promo. Uh, no more, no less. Uh, but of course, if you bring in your own coins and different outside factors like Madden Cash, you could see yourself getting up to three to four, even to five team of the year masters through the grind. So hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully this was beneficial um, and good for you to get uh, kind of your mind straight and ready to go for this grind. But I love you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Leave a like and subscribe. Uh, love you so much. Peace 